As we know, Genexus Enterprise AI provides a set of several APIs to interact with the defined assistance. In this context, we're now going to learn about the API to interact with RAG assistance. To use this API, we must consider the generic variables we already know, base URL and SIA API token. In addition, a Genexus Enterprise AI API token related to the scope of the organization is also required. The methods available for this API are as follows. First, as an example, we'll test the get method that returns the list of RAG assistants defined in a project. The corresponding curl sample indicates that the URL must have the following format. Therefore, in our context, the URL will be as follows. We can see that we need a project API token. We already know the process, so from Postman, we define the get. And from the platform, we copy the default API token. We go back to Postman and define the authorization. We click on Send and get the response. In our training project, the RAG assistant named Chat with GX Training is defined. We will now ask for the list of documents that feeds this assistant. For that, we're going to use the get method that now requires the name of the assistant as parameter. In the sample, we see that the URL has this format. So our URL will be as follows. Once again, we need a project API token. We go to Postman and define the request. We click on send and see the answer. It shows that there are 18 documents and the URL to access each one of them. All right, we're now going to make a simple query to this assistant. For that, we're going to use the API to chat with documents. This API allows making searches or queries on the index content. Its method is post. If we query the curl sample, we see that the URL will be as follows. We also need a project API token. So again, in Postman, we define the post and the corresponding authorization. Let's see now the body of the query. We must indicate the profile, that is, the assistant we're going to query, and declare the question. Optionally, we can add parameters and filters to the question as needed. All right, we then go to the body, raw, JSON tab, and declare the question. Let's define a simple query. We indicate that we're going to query our RAG assistant, chat with GX training, and the question is, what is a transaction object? To see the answer, we click on send. We see the list of query documents and the final text of the answer.